the Department of Chemistry at the University of Minnesota, our scientists are solving some of society's most important problems. The research we do is critical for creating and disseminating knowledge at the forefront of science. There are so many exciting things that we're doing in the chemistry department. We are exploring new kinds of biofuels that can be used as power sources, alternatives to existing fossil fuels. We are working on health issues and finding solutions for emerging problems. We're designing batteries that are designed to last longer and store more power. And finally, we're working on sustainable plastics that can be used as materials by the next generation. We work in a field called nanotoxicology. And we have rather traditional ways of treating diseases like cancer right now, right? You give somebody an um, intravenous infusion of a drug that attacks both cancer cells and healthy cells. So if we can hide the drug inside a nanoparticle and then only have it be at released once it's at the tumor site, that would be really exciting because you would pretty much lose all of the difficult side effects that go with cancer treatment. Chemistry is an exciting area. You apply skills in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and you merge them all into systems that um, apply to real things in the world. I think one of the things that's most exciting about what I do, it seems to have a real world impact on what's going on. And so I'm, I've been involved in the Center for Sustainable Polymers. By working on polymers that come from renewable feedstocks, my students are getting trained in the concepts of green chemistry. This is an advanced elastomer with outstanding properties that my students actually made from naturally occurring molecules. You can pull on this guy and it's very difficult to break, so it has competitive uh, physical properties, but ultimately degradable in a compost environment. We have a long tradition of excellence, dating back to the 1870s when the University of Minnesota was founded and the School of Chemistry was created. We've been home to some of the most outstanding scientists in the world. Our interest is in understanding the chemistry that nature has evolved from many years and see if we can copy some of that chemistry and make synthetic catalysts that will take methane to methanol and be able to put it into our gasoline tanks. I think one of the things that's special about the University of Minnesota is our theoretical chemistry group. Several of the areas that we're doing research in are very important for the needs of society and the country. Our photochemistry work has important implications because solar energy clearly is the long-term solution to our energy needs. It's an inexhaustible supply, essentially. If we could use solar energy more, that would really be great for the whole world. There's a very large effort in materials chemistry here at the University of Minnesota. The effort is multi-departmental and multidisciplinary, and our research is multi-departmental and multidisciplinary. So the opportunity to collaborate with many different folks on campus is something we're really excited about. A particular strength of our department is collaboration. For example, my own research group, we collaborate with people from the School of Public Health, Civil Engineering, Geology and Geophysics. You end up being able to do research not only from the chemist's perspective, but also from the perspective of other scientists and other engineers. When I first came here, which is over 31 years ago now, uh, it was clear that this was a place where collaborative research was understood and in fact encouraged. Find the people that you want to work with and just go to it. Through our research, we are tackling some of society's most important human health, energy, and environmental challenges. Join us. We're always looking for excellent and diverse people to become part of our team.